Even I was telling them in a little parish that it's only when I got to America I knew that we have a different type of nurses. The nurses that stay with mad people. It's even when they do not that somebody who fell from the mother's back. Then those who, that who retired uh, chain smokers, they have nurses. Who are the people that they're using? The black people. People from uh, Ghana, people from Jamaica, people from uh, Ghana, people from Nigeria, from uh, Guyana, or to manage all the knucklehead white people who are expecting death. There are a lot of imported diseases that come to this that will come to this country between now uh, 2028. Because all these nurses are going to import all this now. You know, we're importing their car. Foreign diseases. Yes, because our people has already overstayed with the sick people over there. And they may likely bring it down to Africa. So the best president we did not enjoy is Sani Abacha. Why did you say so, sir? Yes, because of three, three things. Sani Abacha did not have mind of his own. That's number one. Then Sani Abacha easily forget, forgive people. If you offend him, if he can spare the life of the year, he can spare the, uh, the life of uh, uh, Abusadi, um, um, Abu Karim from, from uh, Adisa. So, and then if he can still fall in love with uh, uh, the other man that normally should go with English uh, in, uh, in Ibadan, um, the, the governor who, who has them, who built this gather, um, Rajira, Saki. Rajira Saki. So these are his colleagues. Automatically, Celestia in, in abroad, there is no different from the Celestia here. They could have even have it well, because they have job, they have where to go, but some of them, they don't have husband. We have to foment trouble all the time. It's in the church. The Yoruba nation or no Yoruba nation will stand. The all God mighty, we bless Igbo. We bless uh, Ghani Adams. We bless some great Yorubas who did not mention their name, who are fighting for us. And I know for sure it's time for us to go.
Well, it's another very wonderful, interesting, very solemn moment this time around. It's a moment of the goodness of God because it has been so very tasking. It has not been easy. And I want to thank God that finally, finally, we we're able to get this great man, a man of impeccable achievement, a man who has done so much in the vineyard of God, and a global prophet, a prophet who says it as it is, and somebody that is highly appreciated both home and abroad, fondly famously called the Nostradamus of our time. We are very privileged to be with our father. Just four weeks after he returned from 15th state tour across the United States of America, right away today his aid made me to understand that he's on his way to another foreign trip in Belgium and some other countries in Europe. But we thank God that we are in the ambience of Prophet Dr. MKO Tibeto. We are going to start by greeting him because this is the second time we see him in the year and we have come here almost seven times trying to reach out to him but it has been difficult and even right now we are under pressure. First of all, sir, Happy New Year once again sir, to you sir. And a lot of people want to ask. They say we should ask you that. Where have you been? Because a lot of time you've been in America, and uh, uh, when you came back, we came here severally. We didn't meet you. Then day for day, we learn you are in Abuja briefly. Then as we are talking to you now, this night you are on your way to Belgium and some other countries. Why the foreign trip? And what did you discover in America this time around? Before we go to the issue of Nigeria, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. I still remember Prophet M K O Tibeta. Uh, you are welcome to the vineyard. Because uh, I tour 11 states in two months in the United States. United States has been a state, a country that uh, the Lord God is God owns country. Because why is it God's own country? Is when you wake up in the morning. The first thing, if you walk to Kroger, you walk to McDonald's, you walk to any of these gigantic uh, build um, shops, you can hang in there and take your breakfast. You can hang in there and take your lunch and dinner. And even McDonald's or, or uh, when you get there, they say for breakfast meal is there, lunch and dinner. So all these things, they made life so easy. Although they be of a uh, long, they are old enough to be able to take care of themselves. 250 years democracy. Yeah, but Nigeria too is about 100 plus, but uh, we are still pursuing cow, pursuing good, pursuing uh, Cyber cafe shopping, internet, uh, Twitter, Twitter. That Twitter is our problem. This and that, and we are somebody can. When one Alamajiri man from China, from Chad, from Cameroon, from anywhere can just walk into the CBN and take dollar and then go home just like from tour, and then Abakari and the rest of them. I think uh, America is America is uh, is a bum country for anybody who wanted to say the truth and anybody who wanted to walk. If you want to walk job is available. If you are sick, they will take care of you. And everything is at your disposal. But in Nigeria, reverse is the case. Vision 20, Vision 1919, Vision 2096, Vision, Babangida was with Vision, 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 Vision. Then when he left, Abu Salam, who they believe, is more or less a good Muslim or a Christian, uh, and carrying back like somebody going to mosque all the time. They gave him the power. When he goes there, he did a lot of funny things. He embezzled money from the foreign, from the local, and everything, and put it into the garage. It's the outside people that are killing the economy and the foreign because all the money is in the, the back of the house. The dog pit for money, they keep money where they keep the animal feed, bunk, donkey feed. So automatically, it's only the Igbo and Yoruba who take money to bank. Most of them there, they don't take money to bank. They don't value bank. Thank you. So honestly, before I ask, because we are very crucial uh, in America, I uh, like a lot of Nigerians in diaspora try to see you and you preach in some parishes especially uh, the, the other parish in Texas like two other parish uh, 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 Lady Ulua Parish and some other parishes Covenant across Covenant, Covenant Parish Covenant and Kinalang Parish Chicago and, and Chicago One and all that so what did you feel especially about the Celestial Church in Diaspora do you think the church is improving or you think there's a need for spiritual reform yeah uh, when you look at Psalm 30 verse 11 Psalm 11, verse 20. He said, if the foundation is poor, what can the righteous do? Then when you look at second, when you look at the book of uh, 1 Corinthians 2, 1 Corinthians 3, and 6, and 1 Corinthians 6, 12, and when you look at the book of uh, Job 1, 9 to 16, Job 2, 
1 to 5. Then Job 17, Job 40. Then when you look at what's the book of Genesis 34, Genesis 43, Genesis 42, verse 18, then Genesis 50, verse 10, he said, Is it, are we were thinking now when we won't go back with you back to Egypt again because we were thinking is now you are going to take the vengeance of what we did to you by selling you away the other day. But Joseph replied his brother and said, I am not God. So to come to your question, my brother, you were asking me about uh, yeah, the celestial churches. Celestial church over there. Yeah, in America. Yes. Uh, we are not getting it right over there. We are not getting it right. You know, I told you sometimes ago that Celestia is not worldwide. Mm. But people are lying here that Celestia is worldwide. Yes. There's, there's some areas in America where there's no Celestia church. There's some area in Pakistan where there's no Celestia church. There's an area in the India that is not with Celestia church. There's some area in, what, in, in Japan where there's no Celestia even in Germany. But in a church where you get to, you met the son of Leto Shofa. You met the son of Leto of Abada. You met the son of Leto Woduni. You met the Lord, son of uh, maybe about to lead Celestia so um, uh, Prophet Marcus son in Dublin. We are still one sided. When you get to all those parishes about money, borrowing money from the bank, uh, from the church, a uh, fighting, anointment, they from here, the knucklehead pastor we have, which is Oshofa's son, he has modulized, he has already bastardized everything. We are the only, we are the only stupid church in the whole world that is left with a blind man. You know, my brother, a blind man cannot pilot a car. A blind man cannot be a teacher. A blind man cannot be a boxer. A blind man cannot be a cook. A blind man cannot be a road worker. A blind man cannot be a road safety man. Why is it a blind man really leading Celestia Church? Is it a cause? Is it from heaven? So, but my brother, that question you are asking me, you want to open a keg of gunpowder, a keg of warm. So it's better we just stop because we, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. When you go there, you see, like he cannot perish in Dallas. And when you look at uh, Ileroa Parish in uh, Eastin, the place is just like Ekomo, Ekomo, to, to, um, uh, just like uh, Samuedo and Chastelo. Samuedo and Chastelo of, yes, of Liberia. Because, yes, sir. Do we really need any title in Celestial Church? No. Who formulated all this title? We don't know. You got what I'm saying? Some people will come home. They will not attend any parish when they travel down from America. They will be in under the little house they have built for themselves. They will be putting on T-shirt, and when they want to go, they will go to Mobi, you know, and tell Mobi you know, some of uh, cock and bully, uh, cock and bully stories. Then you now make them damaging evangelists, useless evangelists, Congo evangelists, yeah, uh, gunpowder evangelists, them uh, young porridge evangelists. They all go there, and these people are just managing the sick. Even I was telling them in Hillelua Parish that it's only when I got to America I knew that we have a different type of nurses. The nurses that stay with mad people. It's even from the nurses that somebody would have fell from the mother's back. Then those who are retired chain smokers, they have nurses. Who are the people that they're using? The black people. People from Ghana, people from Jamaica, people from Ghana, people from Nigeria, from Guyana, or to manage all the knucklehead white people who are expecting that. How do you expect a lady to travel from here hmm. to America and be a nurse, walk in the group home, hmm. stay with somebody that has uh, dementia, hmm. stay with somebody that has uh, uh, autistic uh, sickness? So you would leave the house every day, go there, sit down there, leave there, go there, sit down every day. Then, my brother. Is it $10 per hour? Then again, sometimes ago, about three years ago, a, a, a psychiatric patient killed a, a Nigerian nurse. And not the what will happen. They only give them some money and then let the children go. Yes, sir. Because it's not fine for us in our country. Yeah. When you look at all the, all the young ladies now in school of nursing, this and that, go and interview them in the Kedja. Go and interview them in the Kui. Go and interview them in Kaduna. Where they wanted to go and do their nursing, they said, Ireland, London, Dublin, NHS. Oh, yeah. Then before you know, <laughs> Whenever they wanted to go to the top of the ladder, they don't tell them, oh, the last day when you treat one old man, you rub his back. You're not supposed to do that. We give you query. Panel will sit down. Before you know, it's at home. And there are a lot of important diseases that come to this, that will come to this country between now and 2028. 
because all these nurses are going to import all this now you know we're importing their car foreign diseases yes because our people has already overstay with the sick people over there and they may likely bring it down to africa so automatically celestia in in abroad there is no different from the celestial here. They could have even have it well because they have job, they have where to go. But some of them, they don't have husband. Yeah. Where to foment trouble all the time is in the church. Yeah. Where they can come and express their... their look, at, look at in London. Sometimes they go, they call some two ladies stealing church money. Then when you get to London, the, 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 the son of the late uh, Mavoricon was busy making love to everybody, even, in, even the wife of a, a Muslim. He said he, he will call the man on the phone not to be annoyed after he has finished with all the ladies in his church. And then when you look at the man who said he wanted to be the head of Celestia uh, versus Dowsis, in there in London, he has already he has molested another age lady before. That's Fatusi. Then why, why, do, why, why do they drove away the other one that they, they dump in, in, in Delta? It's because he fornicated too. That one said he has even uh, bought, uh, uh, got a new, a new lady. Then after Fatus, then the other one, um, um, my, the other that they sent to uh, Delta to go and just finish all his job there is because of this fornication. I don't know when we are going to nail all this to out of ourselves because he said if you keep the, do the whole law and break one, you break it all. So Celestia is not worldwide. And Celestia abroad, even the coronavirus has sealed up a lot of parishes in, 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 in Minnesota. In, in, in America, then in London, in all these places, they have set them up. Because nobody's ready to come and pay money. They were just renting shop, renting clubhouse, renting everywhere for church. Even it happened to CSC, it happened to Deeper Life, it happened to all Nigerian churches abroad. Because husband and wife and two children, husband and wife and three children, husband and wife and four children in those parishes. Then in the very job they were living, they said, at CSC International in Washington. What is International in four people? That's the problem. Yes. That's the problem. So Celestia is not finding his feet abroad at all, at all, and at all. So let's quickly go to the issue of Nigeria. In your book, uh, Prediction 2021, the special edition, you want that year 2021 is a year of don't borrow money, and that every Nigerian should stay away from borrowing, and the government should not borrow, and that uh, we should go back to farming, we should till the land, and we should look at the suffering of the young people, and that government should make sure everybody go back to farm, that borrowing is bad. But as at this morning now, the book of, in Punch, World Bank report on power, they said FG borrowed 1.3 trillion naira in four years to subsidize consumers and firms, and that Nigerians are paying less on product costs, and it has always been one borrow to the borrow to the other. And also in that book, you also predicted that a lot of bankers we get their sentences this year, they go to jail, and that there's going to be reform in the bank. But just this morning, we had the news of one Francis Atuche. Yeah, yes, yes, it is her. Francis Atuche, yeah, the, the, the former MD of uh, Pan PHB, was sentenced to 12 years for just stealing uh, 20, uh, no, 25.7 billion customers' money. They say he's just going to manage uh, 12 years, but it's going to run concurrently, so it's going to be six years. So, how did you get all this prediction very right this year? Because there's another one that's all come to pass of a man of God that just passed away. But let's talk about the year of don't borrow money, according to page 44 of your book, sir. Thank you very much, sir. You see, when, when we are growing up, your father can has five boys. Then within the five boys, one we graduated from the University of Ife. Then he will go and walk. The next one to the boy, the, the firstborn, will now go and be given food to the brother. Then right after a while, then the man will now say, okay, let me raise my brother again. They will raise and raise and raise and raise. Then the whole family will pass to university. But the reverse is the case now. Reverse is the case now. When you look at the book of Genesis 5, I want all the viewers to go and read. Your father made that mistake. My father made that mistake. You made that mistake, but I did not make the mistake. All the people watching us today, they made the mistake. Even your cameraman, they made the mistake. They said when God was 350 years old, he begat a wife. And when he was 400 years old, he begat a son. <laughs> 400 years old. For his first child, sir. For his first child. 
But you disparaging the lady at the back of the counter, Bukaterian in the cage when you are 16 years old. And the lady you disparaging was, was already nine years old. He has knew what, he, what made his mother to go crazy gaga in the house. Then how do we, how do you, someone who has been making love, we go and learn a trade again. It's only in Nigeria, a young graduate will be telling you when he's serving the NYC that I want to work in the bank. If I work in the bank for six, six years, then I will, I will buy my own car, build a house, then buy a house at the Koi. He has forgotten man, man proposed, God disposes. Where does he want to go and get the money to buy those cars? He wants to work in Alausa. He wanted to work in federal secretariat. He wanted to work, you know, the, the politicians and civil servants. They've nailed the coffin of Nigerian progress. You mean the civil servant themselves? Uh, civil servant and the politician. Even the casket of the progress of Nigeria is on the way to Ikoyi Mutuary. He's out of Ikoyi Mutuary going to Ikoyi uh, 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 Graveyard Cemetery. Because the, 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 the civil servant and the politician, they are the problem of Nigeria. They are the problem of this country. Then with the, with the, with the president we have now, we can call this our president, Bebudani. You know the meaning of Bebudani? Someone that's keeping a laundry or something. Somebody like Dadandidi. You know the meaning of Dadandidi in English? Someone that's keeping cloth for somebody. Dadandidi. Uh, uh, no. Omo, oh, the meaning of Badaru. Badru or Badru? Uh, Maybe Dr. Kwadi Badru or something like that. No, it could get doctor, but somebody who did not, cannot, cannot relate what is, what is bo the body language. The brain cannot explain, express it. The, gov the president who had people died in Kogi, in Bayesa, in Benue, everything. He was only watching the telly as if he's watching a, a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> then he will not tell one of his aides to come and tell us that we had what is happening, but we take action in about people, when people's lives is lost. He just look as if we are in South Sudan. <laughs> <laughs> what Sudan are facing under Ash Bashir is what we're facing now. I believe the best president we never make use of in this country is uh, late General Sani Abacha. He's a good man. I can't believe it, sir. He's a I, good man. I disagree, sir. You know, he didn't go to school. He has no worries. He did not write thesis before. He was driving tanker in Ibadan and he was making his life. Then all of a sudden, when the Mumu and the Mugu people said, you know, promote him and promote him as a full animal, then he goes to the top. He was a canary. Yeah, no, he got to the top. And he has a very fine wife, a very fine-looking wife. He likes sex. The education that he only knew about in this world, Abacha, is just about sex. And then eat his food and then go to office. <laughs> so he never know the value of lawyer, a dollar or anything. It was when he goes to the top, the wife explaining, well, if you do this, if this dollar can bring this, it's okay, it's dollar, okay, dollar, okay, bring dollar. So then we're going to open an account for you, so okay, can I just go, you do that for me, okay. Uh, so, uh, Shai Baba. Then they take the money. So all the, all the sin he committed, the Lord will forgive him because people introduce all these things to him. Even someone who did not know the value of presidential plane. The, 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 the student I just used, the student, your son, were using presidential plane as if they wanted to go and play kite on that. They would, they would just take a presidential jet from here to Kano, to Kaduna to go and buy soya, and bring back again. If they said the Gary in the house is finished, you now go to Tupo with the presidential jet. He's driving it, then the son is driving it. Look at what he's having in America. Even the wife of American president cannot be in that uh, the Air Force One if the president is not there. So there's no, no law and order here. It's just, it's just a kangaroo laws. So the best president we did not enjoy is Sani Abacha. Why did you say so, sir? Yes, because of three, three things. Sani Abacha did not have mind of his own. That's number one. Then Sani Abacha easily forget, forgive people. If you offend him, if he can spare the life of the year, he can spare the life of uh, uh, Abusadi, um, um, Abu Karim from, from uh, Adisa. So, and then if he can still fall in love with uh, uh, the other man that normally should go with English uh, in, uh, in Ibadan, um, the, the governor who, who has them, who built this gather, um, Rajira, Saki. Rajira Saki. So these are his colleagues. It's not, it's not too fantastic about English. Have you, have you ever met where Abacha did a press briefing before? No. He didn't have the time, but it's only like his black glasses. If anything that can bring to shame to him, it will hit the glasses. 
and fall off. So when you look at it, these are the things, these are the type of that can enjoy Nigeria. He has no lecturer, he has no teacher, he has no anything, he has only receiving his salary. God has placed him. You know he's the same person who raised Babangida that raised Abacha. Even if you find out from Babangida, Babangida don't know his father. If you ask from Abacha, they don't know their, their father. <laughs> because they gave him as what? As a houseboy, as a boy, to live with that rich man in, in, uh, in Mina. So that's where they are throughout their life. They push them into the military. But they knew what they want to, they want to do. That's why you see all of them. It was a deal between two of them. So, but Abacha is why he's still the best president is he easily forget forgive people if people offend him. You know the plan cool. The friend of Babangida Planku, um, who was his, mate, his best man, uh, Mama Vasta. Man Mavasta. But uh, he killed, you know, someone who was uh, sitting by at your back when you are doing wedding. Because you join one stupid knucklehead, bad job, you are taking people's life. And look at the Ejibo, Ejibo something. Babangida is the first, um, you know, when we're talking about the Fulani, Babangida was the first person who started this killing. But he's killing by, 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 by style. Look at the other one in Kaduna, the other uh, who, uh, this um, a general who helped the, 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 the Christian over there, um, uh, Major General. They retired him because he helped the Christian uh, the other day. He was with the regime of uh, Abad, Abad, Babangida. So, um, uh, Major General, uh, uh, it was not Bamahi. It was, uh, I would tell you. I always not, no, it can't be talking about He's a Christian. He helped the Christian in Kaduna. He prevented them not to be killing them. But we never knew that this is going to stay prolonged. Um, oh, I would tell you, he's a very good man. Yes, I, I, I remember him, but I, he didn't escape my mind. Yes, so this is the reason. Then number three thing for Abacha, no certificate to show. He only go through the KEDA, through the um, level one, level two, level general. So that's all. He has nothing to lose. Then the third one, he likes women. And anybody who likes women in Nigeria, we have a lot of friends. So they will, they will just bring glass for you, this and that. Then you wipe the day. 12, 12 hours make a day. Then you are with a woman for six hours. And even good luck, Jonathan will, will be, will, will be through Voka. You'll be drinking, get drunk over 12 hours. How many hours left again? So he will go back home again and meet patient. And patient will be speaking English, uh, English. So these are the terrible thing, terrible thing that is happening in this country. And when you talk about Bangida, he's a killer. When you talk about good luck, Jonathan, he's a zoologist. When you talk about uh, Buhari, Buhari has been living with donkey and cow all the ways of his life. So human life has no meaning before him. He's only trying because this IOC that he have signed, that is it, that's their logo. But Babacha refused to put his hand. They approached him that, yes, yeah, this is the right time for us to do this, and I said, no, it's freedom of speech, freedom of worship, freedom of everything. But Babangida was making all evils. Who want to join the Muslim to go and build mosque in the area, this and that, give them money, give them promotion. There was a time in the military or custom and everything. If you didn't have a Muslim name, they would not promote you. It's just a cartel. So these are the thing. How can the how country that behave like this? Why would they not be borrowing money? They'll be borrowing money all the time. They come to our own level. A man who impregnates a woman without job, he has the first baby, the third baby, the, the, the first, the second and third baby. What do you expect again in the, that will happen to this family if they are behaving like this? Before you know, a bankruptcy is everywhere in the house. And then if they now become, later become, a council chairman or any politician, the first thing was to be passing the gap that is around them. So that is it, my brother. People believe that Abacha was trying to kill a lot of political no, activists. No, he was chasing no, them with assassins. You the he truth. to kill them. I'm people like Kudurat were, uh, were victims. People like uh, uh, Alessi Bru were victims. Uh, even Ibrahim Adesan, yeah, they shot him, but the gun didn't penetrate. No, uh, you know, Abacha was the only. Even, the even they were nearly killed General Obas and joined the prison. No. They were to even shoot Dia no, before he died. No. Even Dobesi was I allegedly want to sell half of AIT to him. These are the people tormenting Abacha's life. You see the way you just put big English, big English in it. Abacha life, Abacha spirit will not like you. Because those are the people who is haunting Abacha. He said, before you catch me, I will catch you. That's what he's trying to do. Abraham, they were going about Nadeko, this and that and that. Abacha want peace. 
You know when the Pope came to Nigeria to visit us? Abacha, there's this not the right time for, to bring a man of God. But they said, no, 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 the man of God said he want to come. He said, okay, don't worry. I'll put on my black glasses and black dress to go, to go away. What's the meaning of black? We are money. That was a bad one from Abacha. Yeah, for even to the Pope. That's an insult, spiritual insult, sir. You can even say Habalis in the insult. But what I really believe is, he said the man should not come. We don't need him now. You know, since they've removed Israel out of uh, Nigerian security, the, that's, how they, that, that's the very hour they've started killing Christians. Gradually, gradually, gradually. But they still allow us to go to Jerusalem. But going to Jerusalem does not add anything to you. If you are playing with any Fulani or Hausa man, the very day they wanted to harm you, they will change. <laughs> Even throughout two, four hours before they will kill you, they will be speaking in, in, your, in, a, in a dialect. Even they will never even tell you, come and learn our language. No, 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 no. And they, want, they don't want to study English. So you know, they don't have anything to lose. And they said, whoever die or kill anybody, anybody, uh, they see us as what, as an infidel. Somebody who did not believe in God. Somebody who the Lord must not, did not love. Then again, if you kill one, uh, one uh, a pagan person, they say you got a ticket to Ajana. And when you get to Ajana, they're going to give you seven virgins. And none of them, because they are moral. They didn't know they are left from their right. Now, how many people have even traveled heaven and come and tell them all these things? It's not right. And this is the country where all these things happen. At this jet age, they are fighting for cow, a cow colony, grazing of an animal. When you get to America, they consume a lot of meat in America. But you only see all those cows when you are traveling. Just by the roadside, people have their range. You don't disturb anybody, you don't come to the road. But when you get to, but when you get to Abuja now, when you, when you see a very beautiful lady later, you see a very beautiful white cow, then trekking again. Then after seeing the white, after seeing the cow, you see the ram again following. The same road the car is taking because the Malam has no car. And he has, he's paying he's the paying, uh, federal government on the road. So he has to bring his own, uh, his own goat and uh, uh, sheep again. Later, Buhari will wait and let, the, let them go. But we, even at some times when the cow wanted to go to Azorok, but they would say, no, 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 no. Okay, then they would go to that place, go and eat. Because he's hearing the smelling of Buhari. So that's why he wanted to go there and salute. So this is the type of, why would we not borrow? These are the reason why we cannot stay out of borrowing. And all the money we are borrowing, we are only using it to play, pay salary. They will be fixing the Baden Road for the past 20 years. Even the Baden Road they are fixing now, the minister for, uh, for Rose and um, Fashola was in primary six. When they have started consulting the Baden Road, <laughs> later now he graduated, he be governor and everything, become a minister. Even he cannot finish it. There must be a room only in that road. They never want that road to be fixed. Even Bini Road, all the, the only patch Bini or a road, everything. But when you get to the road to Kaduna, get the road to George, George, Kabacha, Sanfara, all are express. But it's only in our road here, the, 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 the Rumale, just tell them in Azorok, just be patching the hole, patching the road, patching the road. That's all. Even Lagos are with express. Passion. Even they will still patch your room. But thank God that the president even did something very wonderful. On, I think June 12th, oh no, June, June 10, he came to Lagos and he did the railway from Lagos to Ibadan, the, the rail track, the rail system by Minister Ruti Miyamichi. And a lot of people have been applauding him for that, that at least for the first time in our own lifestyle, we can enter train from here to Ibadan mm -hmm. and back to Lagos. Sir. Mm -hmm. Is that not one of the achievements? Even if the Ibadan Express Road is not good, at least we have rain to take us to Ibadan. Oh. Thank you very much. You look like one of the stupid Nigerians. You know the reason why? Yeah, why, sir? Why, sir? <laughs> we are jubilating about rail. Are you, not going, are you not going to eat into your stomach good food before you enter the road? Yeah, I have to eat, sir. Do you know the cost of living in Nigeria? Very expensive, sir. Do you know how much they have borrowed on that train? On that rail? Were you there when they signed the MOU, the agreement? <laughs> The Chinese people is coming there to take over for 10 years. Run it concurrently for 10 years. If we did not misbehave, it will be 10 years. But if we misbehave, it could be 20 years. I make you will be getting money from that rate till he die. Just as I will not getting money from Coca-Cola till he die. And his children are get, getting all the money back again. What is special in the railway? And now they call some people in Bida and some other roads. They've been removing the slippers. You know that they vandalize it again? 
Have you uh, once you are jubilated? How many Nigerians has ply the place now to just how many? But you are just looking at this thing. You know how Nigeria can address things on the telly and everything, but to go down to to, to walk, they will not be able. They can tell you we can fix Nigeria in another nine months. They can come here and analyze it. You remember about, about Mamsa? Yes, sir. Yeah, that, that, is it not a good program? It was a fine program. Then. Does it work? It's like it failed, sir. What about uh, Sharp? Social adjustment by Olufalai. Olufalai, ma'am. So we should adjust our belt. Either you fat or not fat, tie the middle of you. And when he was going, he, he failed to tell us that we should release our belt. <laughs> but Olufalai and uh, Jerry uh, uh, yes. Jerry Ghana are alive. There is nothing special about the train. Although it was easy for them to carry their goat inside the, inside the train. From Kano to to Kafachan from there because you know he's still taking it to Ch Chad, you know he came from the Babangida. Is, Buhari is not from Nigeria. Okay, you think he was taking it to the Niger side? He came from Niger. Okay, you're talking about the real that they're doing to Maradi real. <laughs> but because he wanted to, and you know he fooled all Nigerians that he has a small house in uh, in his own state. No. No, he has a little state in, in, in this, uh, If anything happened to Nigeria, I never concerned Buhari. Buhari is only trying to help the full and need to do what, the, what, what they cannot do for the past 100 years. But nobody sold Nigeria to them. It's because the non cool head Nigerians who joined them to write the paper to well, a constitution that are not. When you look at the beginning of the constitution to the end, it's Saria, Saria, Saria. That shows that right from the beginning, they knew they wanted to, they wanted to capture all the Christian here. So automatically, I was shown a vision the day before yesterday in my dream that the Lord said we should. This war is a war that we must fight. It's a mosque that we must fight that war because automatically we mortgage the life of our children to come. You see how they are using trailer to bring the, the, the contract they gave to Dangote since six years. When you think it's bringing cement down here, we have the cement here. What is he using trailer to convey from the north? Is people from Chad. People from Mali, full and from uh, Kotonkora, full and from all forms of life to come and occupy it. And that was why they did the NIS program. So that the more the full and comes, they put them in the system. Look at Buba Marua is from Cameroon. Then when you look at the book of Atiku, Abubakar is from what is from Cameroon. Then when you look at Buhari that is ruling us already, is from, uh, is from um, Niger. So automatically, when are we going to have the, the, the original son of Nigeria, just like what is happening in Lagos, to rule this country, to tell us where we are going? And all the people that have brought in now, millions, you know, nobody ever thought about, uh, about census. We don't know what we are telling the white people we are one billion. We are next to China. We are next to uh, Indian. We are the four powerful to look at it. And when any government change, they will all fly over the whole world, open an account. Then they said they are bringing expatriate. But when they had what happened in Kogi, when they have anything that happened in ben Benue, when you have anything that happened, all these places, people are now panicking and running away from all this trouble thing. How will they come and invest? So we'll still be borrowing. Then the rail, what are we going to, what are we, who is going to Kaduna? For, bad, bad. Who is going to Kaduna for now? Who is going to, who is going to uh, Kavachan for now? People they are, they, every day they kill them, they, 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 they kidnap them, take them everywhere. So automatically that's the only one benefit we can get from the raid. Because when the raid just starts from Lagos, going to Kaduna or Abuja, you must stop on the way. So any Boko Haram that enter the train track will be, will be bulldozed. It's a joy. It's a thing we will like. So, but apart from that, nothing again. So I don't see any joy in the railway, my brother. So but you can celebrate, you know. Uh, the way you will attest to somebody is different from the way we attend to the person. So thank you. You say you are jubilating about the train. No, no, God will bless you. No, sir, there's another. Let God will take care of my own faith too. Amen, sir. There's another problem because in news this morning now, the president said we have li lift. He said we have lift 10 million people out of poverty. But look at what World Bank is saying now. They said the cost of Gary and the cost of food, cost of living, has. Put seven million into poverty, sir. From the perspective of the Lord, is it the president of the country that is saying the truth or the World Bank that is saying the truth? Because the the, the World Bank is saying the truth. Femi Adesanya and the rest of them are hanging around the president. They are they are morals. 
They don't know their left from their right. When you, you know when you are joining people to lie. When you are joining half with people, somebody to lie. What will you gain from there? If you try to go inside the whole market, look at what they are doing there, you will know. Then to tomorrow, the, the, the melon uh, producer will come to the, come to the podium. Uh, if we do not do this, we are not bringing uh, money out to the south. We are not bringing tomato to the south. And we all have land where we can grow all this thing. But the Fulani has men never allowed us to do whatever we're supposed to do for the past three years. We want to go to farm. But they go there to rape all these women, kill all these women, men them, do every rubbish thing. So they don't want us to even have life at all. They open the border in the north, but the one down here has been closed. What type of presidency is that? And I warned you people the other day that Buhari is people's choice and not God's choice. That was 2015, you warned Yes, I warned the Nigerians that the way he's missing the election, that he's losing all this election, God knows about it. Then Tinubu, who will never listen to even himself, Tinubu did not even know himself, said he's the best person. So after 80 years, then he will go in there. The very day they shot Oshimole on the leg, I knew that PDP goes back to the Fulani people. And that was the end. And they do the meeting now anywhere, any day, before you know. They don't have time for us. So that's a problem. Yeah. But, uh, looking at it basically, so the World Bank that is correct. The statistics report of uh, uh, Buhari is wrong. Buhari, our president is wrong. He did not lift anybody. It only what he did was they share ammunition to the Fulanis and neglected the people in the South South. And they were killing the Igbo as if they are killing animals. And even they were removing the, the, the pennies of the people and taking it to China, which we saw on the telly. Is it what that what you want to say? And the number of lives we have lost in Benway. Why is he not talking about that? How many people has he lifted? He has not lifted anybody. Is he God? Does he do anything? Is he an economist? Is he an accountant? When last have you ever seen uh, uh, type in the computer? He didn't know anything about computer. They fed him. Look at what, look at the, con the contract they gave to uh, Funtua. The Funtua that died, one person. You can go to inside the plane every morning. You see how they carry our dollar raw, carry it everywhere. And the Yoruba wanted to start changing money again. They are now changing naira, old, old note to new note. A, a commission ten naira. Look at us. So I'm sorry. Do you does it? Here all the money we are borrowing. They are paying House of Assembly, House of Senate, teacher, and everything. We only borrow money to pay salary. No company is working again except Dangote, who is using federal government money. That's all. No, any other com com company. Look at the other cement factory, uh, at the red uh, cement uh, factory. And the other guy who was fighting Dangote, he wanted to take Dangote to court. When Dangote was even saying the Mus uh, Muslim is about fasting now, they need to jack up the price of sugar. That's Bua. Bua. That guy. Samad Rabiu. Um, yeah, he said no, because that man had God feeling. There's a kind of very gentleman, Samad Rabiu. Yes, he has. Bua cement. He has a fear of God. And Bua industry. Bua industry. The, the Lord will bless him. Do you remember Bua? Bank uh, Abiola sink, he asked them to throw Bible that they are giving to us free to throw it inside the river, to sink it and throw everything away because of IOC. And look at us today. But if they think they want to drive Christian out of this country, they will fail. They should go and check the book of first, uh, jo Joshua 1 1 to 5, Joshua 10. They should read it very well. He said, The five kings of Moab. They gather themselves together. They put everything together to fight Joshua. But at the end of the day, the Lord used a hailstone to what? To destroy them. We are so confident that this country belongs to us. And the Yoruba nation or no Yoruba nation will stand. The all Almighty will bless Igbo. We bless uh, Ghani Adams. We bless some great Yorubas who did not mention their name who are fighting for us. And I know for sure it's time for us to go. Because when you look at the book of Exodus 4, Exodus 5, then Exodus 10, verse 20, then Exodus 12 and 14, then Exodus 14, 10 to, 10 to the end, and then Exodus 14, verse 18 to 24. He said, the Egyptian you see today, you will no longer sit down no more. So we will soon get out of They can't fight the war because we didn't offend them. Nigeria is a sovereignty state. How, what is Fulani? What was the percentage of the Fulani people? You know what I'm saying? Then why are you just bringing them in here? Then use the helicopter to go and spread the ammunition to them in the bush. The rain, is it maybe Buhari wanted to measure the type of the number of people kidnapping has made? His people has made. That's the problem. So we won't stop borrowing if we are still behaving this way.
I was looking at it now. You, you really gave advice to the Yoruba race that the Lord said he has already stood up to look at the request that they put before him. And by that, by 2023, the Yoruba is going to have a bright weather and that things are going to work. You also advise uh, Otuba Ghani Adams to be very careful. They should not sleep too much and they should be very careful of... Uh, uh, free women and they should be careful of being assassinated and that he should cooperate with uh, Chief Sunday Boo. That is between page 4110 and uh, 415 of the book. Then on page 417, you advise that the government, the governors in the southwest should allow the herbalists to come together and use what God has given them. You said the herbalists should get more involved. They should go to all the necessary public places like schools, the airport, hospital market and around the city and do all their prayers and also tell us what you know you can do so that the trouble do not enter Abiyokuta or and some other southern states, including Asaba. And the Abali should be paid to do so. In Kwara, somebody went to steal. They used the method of their forefathers to find out the truth and something appeared on his body instantly until he returned the whole thing he stole. Yes, we still believe in God who causes such revelations. God said that if there is anybody that lacks wisdom, he should go and look for it and get ready to create and move into the new land. So there are a lot of things you give them. So are you saying that our traditional people should also wake up and comb all the bushes so that we can chase these hard men that are stopping people from farming and getting their agri economy out of the Yoruba land? Yes. By June, July, there will be thunder, thunderstorm. There will be heat. There will be, the Lord will remove them from there. All of them will, they will be smoked out. You know, I quoted the book of uh, Joshua 10 to you. Yes, sir. And yeah, when you read it, you know that. Then he said, this war is not for you. It's me. And God, no, is anything too difficult for God? No. So he will work it out for us. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, so, so uh, 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 we're very sorry to bring it to your notice. It's one of your biggest prophecy when you traveled. And it, it's like when you came back, uh, it was the prophecy on page 335. You gave prophecies to many churches, including Trem. Deeper Life, Redeemed Christian Church of God, uh, Daniel Lukoya's church that we, you have predicted that is going to have crisis before 2023 20, uh, before. But on page 335, you gave a message to one man of God. That is Prophet T.B. Joshua of Synagogue Church of All Nations. You said, the Synagogue Church of All Nations needs prayer. All the people and ladies he has damaged and destroyed their lives, those who cannot give birth or marry again, all the ladies have committed suicide and those cannot explain how they get into it now downward you said before the lord help you to watch your dirty linen outside there's going to be a terrible problem in your church between now and 2024 pray for you to be alive because you are going to have heart attack then on the last page that is 339 of that message you said pray against anything that will not make you to be able to mark your 70th birthday because the ages of 55 to 60 will be very difficult Sir, how did you get this message, sir? And uh, when it came to pass on June 5, uh, we were so shocked. And a lot of people started calling our attention to that portion of your Revelation 2021 book, sir. Yeah, thank you very much. You know me too. Prophet Marcos is going to die one day. 